Hello, little willies. It's that special time of year where you have to pay money to the government. In celebration of all of this, Cat Warehouse has a new shirt, tax evasion, and new socks, crab smoking crack. Those ones aren't to celebrate taxes though. Because it's tax season and we have to pay all our money to the government, I thought I'd try to cook pad thai using stuff I only bought at the dollar store. If you don't know what pad thai is, it's it's like the, the orange chicken of Thai food. It's kind of the most Americanized Thai food. Like if you ask somebody about Thai food, they either tell you like Thai tea, pad thai, or maybe yellow curry. The only problem is a lot of times you're supposed to get these ingredients from an Asian market and the, do the dollar store is, <laughs> it's the dollar store. Actually, it's the dollar plus store now. I think everything's gotten more expensive. $2, holy sh the two dollar, every it's two, the two dollar store. Blue raspberry drink mix, Skittles drink mix. Ah, what? That's awful. I'm gonna buy them. Ellen DeGeneres blindfolded musical game, musical chairs. <laughs> Why would anybody buy that? Where are the rice noodles? Oh, linguini. Oh yes. Okay, so we got like flat rice noodles. We're going for linguini. Oh my god, they have bags of mayonnaise. Holy. God. One, two, three, vegetable oil. This looks like motor oil packaging. This looks like a cleaning product. Shrimp, ground shrimp, what? Hell yeah, ground shrimp. <gasps> what the, f no way. This is gonna be better pad thai than I ever made. You've been a bad mayonnaise. Okay, we need meat, we need to find meat. No way, they have shrimp? Five dollar shrimp? Nothing's a dollar. I feel like this is like, this is total bullshit. Okay, there needs to be a new rule. Nothing over like what? Like two dollars? Shrimp for five bucks. That's too, that's pushing it too far. I don't want to buy the beef, but <laughs> I don't want a piece of chicken for a dollar. That's what I want. This is, this is ridiculous. Are you telling me no one's figured out how to make meat for a dollar? Where's the eggs? Oh my f God. We can't, we cannot afford these eggs. What is this? Is there like a, like a little Ziploc bag full of like pre-shaken eggs, pre-scrambled eggs? This place sucks, I hate this place. Dollar store, my <laughs> Whose f***ing bright idea was it to price things for $10 at the dollar store? These are dollar peanuts, this is what I want. Oh sh I don't care if you have to sell me one egg. Sell me one egg for a dollar. Just make the price a dollar. Figure out how few you have to sell to me to make it a dollar. Today's video, we're going to try to make pad thai using things we only bought at the Dollar Tree because the 99 cent store died. Why am I doing? Why did we go to the dollar store? Hey, what do their what do their meats look like? Holy sh! That looks awful. You guys ever carry eggs? Yeah. No, no that's too expensive. Okay, I think we might just be sort of hosed on the eggs unless we can steal them. This is like a complete derailment of the entire point of this video. Shit is so expensive now that I can't even make my my crappy pad thai dollar store video. I should have done this years ago. Six bucks. <gasps> Three dollars. What? That's cheaper than dollar store. We're gonna get the the four dollar eggs. Okay, chefs, we've got all of our ingredients. Ninety nine cent store. Eat shit. <laughs> uh, we're only missing one thing. Um, we do one of these. My name's Chef! You know, I actually used to work at a Thai restaurant. <laughs> it's not a joke, I did. And uh, um, I only lasted about three months. I was a, I was a bus boy and I'm pretty sure they were stiffing me on tips. Today what we're gonna try to do is make a completely minimalist dollar store. I don't even wanna call it a dollar store anymore. I just wanna, it just makes me so mad. So I'm gonna get rid of some of the stuff that was more expensive. I wanna try to get this to the cheapest, cheapest possible. We had to go to three different stores. Um, the first step of making pad thai, and I wanna say, I really wanna quantify that with making pad thai the way I've made pad thai because I swear to God, no matter what I say, someone's gonna complain about it not being the right way to make pad thai. Look at me, I'm a, I'm a white dude in Southern California. Of course, the way I'm gonna make pad thai is not gonna be the correct way to pad thai because I read it on a blog written by some white chick in Illinois. We wanna soak our noodles. We wanna get the noodles nice and dry nice and wet, that why would you soak the noodles to make them dry? Boil a little bit of water, not even boil. We're gonna get it warm and we're gonna speed soak. 
I'll be right back. Typically you would you would soak the uh, noodles beforehand. We don't have the luxury of doing that. I never had the luxury of doing that because I always would procrastinate. I would come up with an idea to cook pad thai at the very last minute. I'm a bit out of practice. Haven't done this in a while. And I've never done it with absolutely the worst ingredients possible. But the first thing you're gonna do is stick your noodles into your water right before you cook because you forgot to do it before you cooked. We've got a little bit of a problem right now. We don't have a chili paste. I have no idea how to make chili paste. Normally I buy it. I'm guessing that we take dried chilies and we reconstitute them. I, I don't know exactly what that means or how to do it. Okay, let me stick some hot water into here. Yeah. We've got our chilies constituting, we've got our noodles constituting, and now the tamarind. Okay, it's kind of kind of gross looking. It's got like veins and stuff. Let me taste it. Mm. Wow. Whoa. That's really nice, actually. Oh my God. Holy God. Mm. It's like a punch in the mouth, but, but more, I don't know, fruity. All right, hot water into the tamarind. We're just gonna, I guess, I don't know, let that soak too. Did I put too much? Probably. Maybe we should rehydrate the, the ground shrimp while we're at it. Is that all the constituting we need to do? We got peanuts, we got chicken, we got bean sprouts. I think that's pretty much it. Unless we wanna make a, a nice hot cup of Skittles juice. Now for an impromptu review of Skittles Original Punch Drink, drink Mix. All right, it's kind of gross looking already. Oh wow, that's, oh man, it smells like Kool-Aid. That is horrific. It's like jello. It's like it's like hot. It's like jello before you cool it. I really, I really actually don't like this. I think there might be red 40 in it. Yeah, there is. I can taste red 40. It tastes like soap. <laughs> One thing I regret not doing when I did work at the Thai restaurant was learn how to cook Thai food. I really like Thai food and it's very hard to figure out how to do it on your own. Cause they would make all sorts of crazy stuff, like things that they didn't have on the menu, they would make and they would sort of like force, they would like torture me a little bit with it. And I really want to say what they called me, but I feel like I can't say it. <laughs> they would try to hook me up with uh, the other, the, like the other Thai, Thai girls there. And I, I, uh, I remember one time, um, very explicitly they said, uh, they're like, oh, do you like her? And I'm like, yeah, she's nice. And they're like, you like her, like her? And I'm like, I don't know what you're getting at. I mean, I did know what you're getting at. And uh, I think that, I think it was, I don't know. I, th I don't know what they were trying to, I mean, I think I do know what they were trying to do, but um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't last too much longer after that. All right, shrimp paste, baby. This is gonna be horrific. Look at that, you know, it actually doesn't look that bad. Wow, that's nice actually. <laughs> what? It's like kind of like fishy and salty and grainy. Man, that's bizarre. All right, how about our tamarind? It is, this is what you know what this looks like, right guys? It looks like poop. It looks like I'm playing with a piece of poop. What's it taste like though? Whoa! That's the sourest sewage I've ever slurped. For $1.25, I bought a can of sardines. I'm uh, um, yeah, I'm praying that we can maybe, if we're lucky, make some sort of unholy matrimony between Worcestershire sauce and sardines to get something that even remotely resembles fish sauce. Can of sardines, I got the ones in water, no flavor, no nothing, just straight up sardines. It's fishy, it's a little salty, it doesn't have any like of that punch, you know, that right, right, like that uppercut to your left testicle kind of punch. Like a chow, like this stuff is painful, fish sauce is, not something you want to like drink. It's not a sauce. It's it's more of a like a base. All right, let's see what kind of unholy thing have we made here? Looks like a salad dressing from hell. Uh, what do we do? Okay, what about the shrimp paste? Maybe we put some shrimp paste in there. <laughs> if we would have bought all our ingredients, this would have been some, done so quickly. That's close. All right, let's check on the noodles. This is great. Okay, I'm gonna take the noodles. I'm gonna put them into here. I'm gonna take the chilies out. I'm gonna chop them up. All right, chopping the chilies up. A blender 
or emulsifier or something is probably really what's needed to do this. Uh, I think that with enough time and dedication and soaking, we can probably get it kind of close. I don't really know if this is necessary. I don't really know what I'm doing. Did we try to make chili paste on its own before putting it in the mix or do, we're gonna already add vinegar and sugar already. So maybe we just do that, I don't know. Add a bit of brown sugar, probably quite a bit. All right, let's put a little bit of vinegar in there, get a little bit sour. Hey, that's pretty good. That's a spicy boy. Damn, that's nice. That's actually really nice. Now I'm gonna just go back and follow the instructions. So we've soaked the noodles. Now we need to make the sauce. So the sauce is the fish sauce. Put the lime in there, put the lime in the fish paste and stir it all up. So normally this sauce is like a deep red color. I think that all the fish, the ground up fish that we, that we scraped out of the can is probably contributing to this sort of sewer brown that's going on right now. But that's what you get when you make pad thai at home from things from the dollar store and, not, and that doesn't include fish sauce. I don't know, maybe, that's it, sure, let's do it. I feel like I should do this before we actually fry everything. We gotta get the peanuts out, so I'm just gonna sit here and, oh God. I'm just gonna crack these peanut shells open. Did I put hot dogs in it? This is insane. I can't put hot dogs in pad thai. What is that? Peanut shell, that's gross. Oh, yes, okay, let's get rid of that dried up noodle. Take this starchy water and put it in the trash can where it belongs. Let's get the gas going, light this bad boy up, get it nice and hot. Put some oil in there. Yeah, Make a little bit more. Pad Thai's greasy. Thai food, Asian, a lot of Asian food in a wok is greasy. Just load that wok up with grease. I need the wok thing, oh, I eat. Cooking with a wok is easy if you have a, a well prepped wok. So here you can see my, my seasoning is not as good as it could be. We get our garlic. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think you can really do too much garlic. Normally, they put the heat right on the center of the wok, and we don't really have that option here because the, this this is meant for like a like turkey deep frying, not for cooking a uh, pad thai. Stir frying the hot dogs in the garlic. Look at that. You've never seen hot dogs look so good, have you? Two eggs in the wok. Look at that. That's good. I think we'll go, that looks fine, maybe half the noodles. All right. Oh yeah. What the hell is going on in here? Doesn't look bad. That looks excellent. Let's get a couple more pieces of chicken on there. Okay. And then we don't, God, you can just smell the shrimp. Then we're gonna sprinkle the peanuts onto it. Nice and garnish. Man, only if we had green onions, this would look excellent. Look at that, we're plated up. That looks excellent. This is pad thai from a dollar store. Let's do a taste test, see how good it is. I need a fork. Oh boy. I'm really excited to see what we put together here. It smells, it smells like very kind of, there's like a bit of that shrimp. The shrimp paste is, is carrying a lot of weight through. The noodles are like chewy. What did I make? The noodles feel a lot heavier than rice noodles. All right, our first test subject, really quick before we get started, you gotta put your test subject hat on. Then you have to look into the camera and say, my name's Chef. <laughs> my name's Chef. That's great, okay. This is pad thai made from things I bought at the dollar store. Visually, what do you think? It looks similar to pad thai. Like pad What's it smell like? I thought you smell ketchup. Eat it. Yeah, suck the noodles in. Not very good. Why not? What's wrong with it? It's trying to be pad thai, but it's not. And so it's just disappointing. Pad Thai is so flavorful, and this is like very sad Thai. Okay, sad Thai? Yeah. 
Take your uh, dinner with you. <laughs> no, I will be cooking dinner. I thought I was actually not gonna have to cook dinner, and I do have to cook dinner. Well, I guess that's uh, that's. I guess that's it. If you wanna. Head on over to catwarehouse.com to buy the new crabs and cracks socks.